What is going on? My name is Sasol, and uh, lately a lot of people have been asking me what gun I think is the best and so on. Uh, what I think about different guns, uh, and uh, just my opinion, like what people would like, what should, what people should use, or what kind of gun people think is like the most suited for each situation and so on. So today I thought I'd be going to talk about that. Um, so let's jump right into it. So you start with the M16. Uh, in my opinion, it's a really, really good gun. It has everything you'd be looking for in a gun. Might be the damage is a bit low. That's about it. But um, other than that, it's a pretty stable gun. It has a decent range, uh, good recoil, and uh, the rate of fire is pretty good on it. And the hip fire is pretty good as well. Um, so what I use on this is uh, I always use the virtual grip or the hunter. That's like um, I never change these ones out. Maybe sometimes I change it out with the angle grip if I'm playing like cargo or metro uh, for the faster aim speed. But usually I just run the vertical grip because it gives you less recoil and I don't really feel it's an issue for me uh, with the ADS speed in this game, I think it's fine. Um, what I do change a lot though is the ACOG or the sight. I usually use either ACOG or I'll use the red dot depending if I play metro or cargo I'll play the red dot, if I play valley or uh, cross sight I'll probably use the uh, ACOG. Um, but I sometimes use red dot on crash sight or valley as well depending on how I want to play. Uh, yeah, so this gun is pretty good. I really really enjoy it. Uh, the flashlight as well um, It's kind of helpful in some situa uh, situation and scenarios. It's not uh, like all the time But uh, some people do get blended by it, especially if you play Metro uh, It's also like if people are struggling with placing their crosshair on the screen uh, like pre-placing the crosshair uh, A lot of people are using the, the flashlight to actually like see what they're aiming at sometimes which could work. Uh, I do it myself on the MK14 for example sometimes. Uh, AK47, this is the only gun I haven't really maxed out. Uh, what I like to use on this is the Hunter Barrel and uh, I either use the uh, OKP7 Reflex Sight or I'll use the Red Dot. Uh, I tried using the AK on it. it, it just jumps too much in my opinion. I don't think uh, it works that well uh, if you tap with it or if you start spraying at like their waist and then going up at uh, long range is a pretty good gun. Uh, as I said, I don't really think it's that viable. I don't even really think the AK-47 is that like good anymore because it got nerfed by two damage or one damage. I don't remember, so it doesn't have like that potent like two shot, uh, three shot potential anymore, uh, which is really really sad. It used to be my favorite gun, uh, but yeah, I really used the red dot on it or and the muscle rake and never changed it out. Uh, this is the only gun I haven't maxed out because I, I rarely use it nowadays. Uh, moving on, this is definitely the meta gun or my favorite gun. It's the um, AK-12, I use the vertical grip here or hunter barrel or I will not use the grip at all. Uh, if I play cargo for example, I don't really use the grip at all. Just basically because uh, you get no penalties when you're using it and you don't really need a grip on cargo. Uh, but lately I've been playing a lot of crash sites. Uh, on that longer ranges, the vertical grip is definitely nice to have. Uh, a set flashlight as well, uh, I just have it there because why not? Uh, sometimes it's nice to blend people in close range. Uh, which is that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, here I basically use the Red Dot, ACOG or LCAM. LCAM is really good if you play Valley. Uh, it gives you like a really long line of sights. Uh, yeah. But usually I use the Red Dot uh, because I like playing aggressive with this gun. Uh, so this is the meta gun. This is like basically the strongest AR in the game now. I'm not saying that it's the strongest hitting gun or like the best gun at ranges or so on. But it's just an overall rounded well gun because the hit fire is really really good on it. Um, Moving on, we have Scar. Uh, this is where it starts getting a bit more interesting. Um, here we have, I use the L kind of it. This is like basically a valley gun for me. I use it on longer ranges. Um, here I will use the vertical grip, uh, hunter barrel and L cam. I will change it out for the holo mini. Just basically because I think holo looks really cool on Scar and the mini is really, really nice because if you see it's placed um, don't know if you can see it, but when you see how um, if you see how you have like the sight a lot closer to your iron sights there, if you pick up the red dot, it's a bit further, so it's really nice because when you aim in for some reasons, you get a wider field of view, um, which is really really handy. And with this one as well, I usually use the flashlight for the same reasons. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool gun to use. Uh, it's more unique than the other third rounders, I would say. Uh, it's definitely the hardest hitting assault rifles in the game. Uh, I like using it on longer range or medium ranges like uh, Crash Tide or Valley. That being said, uh, it's not my favorite gun, but it's fun to use. It's different. Moving on, we have the best uh, long range gun. Um, 
this is when I learned mainly only use ACOG and Hunter Barrel on. I never use Red Dot on it because the hit fire is that good and um, uh, it's really easy using ACOG in close range as well. It's not that hard actually. Uh, this gun has like no recoil. It has like the most consistency in the game. Like it's always consistent. Uh, it's really good ranges, tapping people or just um, spraying across the map. Like I said, this is the easiest gun in the game to use. Basically, the only thing you need for is a Hunter Barrel and ACOG, and it's like already a meta gun. Which is kind of weird, like, call all the other guns to actually need, like, a grip to actually, like, like, you need to either have a grip or not have a grip on it, defi uh, depending on, like, what you're pl planning to play as, like, what your role is, like, how you plan to play that game. Um, but yeah, as I said, this is the easiest gun in the game to use by far. It's best, it's the best, like, 30 rounder on range, it has, like, no recoil at all, and it's really consistent. So, I would recommend people using this in the AK 12 if you're using this old rifle, it's definitely the best guns in the game. Uh, then we have 308. Uh, the 308 is uh, in a weird spot. Like I like it, but it's also really inconsistent at times. Uh, I like using it on Metro with a Cobra because it jumps. For some reason, it jumps less when you use Cobra on it. Or I'll use the ACOG uh, on it, which is also really handy. It's basically like the Scar, but it has like less range, so it's better in. It has higher fire rate. Uh, uh, fire rates so is better in close range. That's why I pretend, or I like using Red Dot or Cobra most of it. But sometimes I use ACOG just to get the, the angles on people when I play Metro. Like if um, they're sitting way back on Metro or if I'm planning to hold, for example, in a uh, lockdown area of the map. Uh, so it's a really good gun. I really like it. Uh, it's unique. It's more unique than the Scar in my opinion. But as I said, I don't think it's a meta gun. Uh, I think it needs some buffs to it, to be honest. Because it's really not that strong. It's not really that heavily used either. Uh, moving on to SMGs, here's only two options. The G36E, I would argue it's not an SMG, but the game is categorized it as that. This one, I will use the angle grip for the faster aim down ADS speed, because I really like to run up in people's faces with it. I use the ACOG, because uh, you have faster movement speed with this, so when, even when you aim, you have faster movement speed. So if you're strafing people uh, with it, the ACOG is just really, really handy to have, especially in mid to close ranges, because it's like you can uh, get a headshot up really really easily and so on it's really really good to strafe with so in my opinion it's a strafe gun uh, as well as the movement speed you have it, it has decent hip uh, hip fire I also use the flashlight on this one just because uh, you like well, this one I always have the flashlight on because you're always up to people's faces it's a really CQB related gun even though it has good potential at mid to longer ranges as well I used to have the barrel there as well but you could use uh, for less spread, which is not really a bad idea either. I just really prefer the Hunter Barrel. So I would change between these two depending on what you feel you're the weakest on. Like if you're struggling with spread, you should definitely use the, the Quad Crown. Or if you're struggling with recoil, you should use the Hunter. I don't really know the spread that much. So for me, it's like I might as well just have less recoil. Uh, I use ACOG or I'll use the Red Dot. Uh, I prefer the ACOG just because I said it's really fun to strafe with, it just works. I, I can't really put my fingers on it, but you, de you guys should definitely try it. Moving on to the other SMG we have right now in the game is the Vector. Uh, this gun, in my opinion, is like if you're struggling in 1v1s, you should use this gun because people will just drop like flies. Uh, this gun is, in my opinion, is like the no skill gun, if that makes sense. It's like a good player can lose the gunfights to a bad player basically because this gun just shreds you. Um, I would recommend using the Cobra on this one because all the other sights apparently you'll get more uh, muscle flash like your sight just light up by the muscle flash but the Cobra doesn't do it that's the only reason why I use Cobra or else I would have used Red Dot basically because the Red Dot is a lot cleaner but as I said you get the muscle flash like up all in your face so the Cobra really doesn't have that so that's the only reason this one I also always have the flashlight on basically because it's like you're always up in people's faces you might as well uh, here I use either a Hunter Barrel or I'll use Quad Crown as well, depending on what I'm struggling with or what I'm like consistent with. Really, I just don't notice the spread on this gun. It's a really simple gun to use, uh, and I think the Hunter Barrel just helps out a little bit more in the ranges. And this one I use the vertical grip or I'll use the angle grip, depending on my playstyle. Angle grip is like if I'm gonna hit fire a lot, I'll just use it, or uh, if I'm like always in people's faces, I'm gonna use it just for the ADS speed. Or if I'm like planning to play a little bit more laid back when I play cargo, for example, I'll play with the vertical grip. And ninety nine percent of the time, I just play with the vertical grip because it's I don't know, it's just the best right now. It's kind of unfortunate that it is that way. It's not really that much variation between attachments, and it's pretty much always going to be the same um, setup for guns. And moving on to marksman, here's some really cool choices. 
Um, the MK48, like, I've really been liking lately. Like, it's really been growing on me just because of the two shot potential with it. Uh, I like, always use the ACAM because uh, the super is really, really nice to have on it and you can play aggressive with it as well because the hip fire ain't that bad. This one I actually use the flashlight to uh, locate the hip fire. It's, uh, it's actually working, believe it or not, which is kind of funny. Uh, here I use the hunter barrel for less recoil. You could use the uh, quad crowd as well for the spread. This one really really helps for the spread if you guys are struggling with uh, tap firing fast. Uh, this one will reduce recoil when you're tap firing in a, in a fast speed, which is kind of weird, but I kind of like it as well. Uh, but I use the hunter barrel because I usually try to tap for headshots. Uh, vertical grip is something that I really really strongly recommend using in this gun. I wouldn't I ever use the, uh, the assault grip. Uh, especially this one because this gun has recoil when you tap it like it jumps up a bit so the lesser you can get the less recoil you can get on it the better uh so yeah it's a really fun gun to use uh it's really growing on me then we have my favorite gun in the game but it's not really a uh a meta choice like it's not that strong it's the vss it's just the most unique gun in the game it's like the only suppressed gun here I'll use the vertical grip because I'm really tapping this gun really really fast so having the vertical grip is really really nice uh and then I used the ACOG, there isn't many choices for this, but the ACOG, LCAM and the PSO was pretty fun to use. I used the LCAM and the PT or in the playtest, it was really fun to use, but uh, I like to play aggressive with it, so ACOG is enough for me. The PSO just takes up the whole of your screen, so I wouldn't recommend using it at all, unless you just want to have fun, uh, and so on. Uh, and then I used the flashlight here as well, for the same reason, to locate my hipfire, uh, which helps sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. It's better on the MK14, believe it or not. Moving on to snipers, here we had M uh, M24, um, there's only two choices to sight here in my opinion, it's the LCAM or, uh, or the ADEX, the LCAM is better for like if you play Metro for example, or if you're playing closer ranges than any other maps, I think it's easier to use in close range, um, but I just really like the ADEX because it gives you like all the, it gives you like the all in one, like it might be too simmed in in some scenarios, but other than that it's really really good to use. As I said, I don't really snipe that often, but when I snipe, I use the a time because it looks cool uh, and you have like the best zoom in the game. Like, there's not any other guns that have an ATEX, so you might as well just play around with it. Uh, flashlight's not really that important in my opinion. I don't really use it at all on this gun. I just have it there because it looks cool. And a hair, you can use whatever you want. Nothing is going to change this gun whatsoever uh, because it's a bolt action. It doesn't give you anything. Um, Maybe not use the hunter barrel because it gives you increased ADS speed. Uh, that's like about it really. Like get get as little ADS speed as possible or as fast ADS speed as possible basically. That's the only thing you could try and go for. Other than that, I don't really see too much uh, changing with this gun right now. Maybe if it gets extended knives in the future or bipod or like suppressor, it might have some stuff you can play around with. Uh, moving on to the secondaries, uh, here's two choices. I really like both of those. Uh, I like the M1911 the most uh, because it has like two shot potential in the close range, but it only has seven rounds in the magazine. So it's like, do you want a heavy hitting pistol that like hits harder, or do you want a pistol you can spam with and be more comfortable in uh, close ranges? And this one also have a red dot or a pistol kilometer. So here is like 50-50, I like both of them, I usually use the Glock, but I really really like the 1911, it's definitely the, my favorite gun, uh, especially now that I got a skin and all, so yeah, that's about it really, there isn't much more than that, hopefully we will get um, some more guns in the future to play around with, uh, as I said, if you want to go for meta guns, it's either the AK-12, for uh, you know all types of ranges, like it just does well on every ranges, or if you're playing like longer ranges, or you're struggling with controlling recoil, or you just want a gun that's always consistent. Uh, play around the ak 74 m It's a pretty good gun. Uh, as I said, if you want to have more fun with it, uh, these two guns are really fun to use, in my opinion. Um, they're like unique in some way, because they're the only single firing guns. The VSS is the only suppressed gun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.